Okay, so welcome back and let's dissect the cylinder case. So we're at this point, we generated the mesh, we have something like this. So let's say that, remember that we have the three folders, one, two, three, one, two, three, because in control did, you, you use that time step and so on. So in each folder you have Castellation Mesh, which is a valid mesh. You can use it to do your simulation. It's up to you. Then you have the body fitted, also valid mesh. You can use it or if you want to get the boundary layer. Okay, we have everything. But let's say that I'm not happy with the boundary layer mesh. I want to do something else. How can I redo that without starting from the beginning from step one two three okay how I, how can i do that so basically that's why we have these three folders one two three so i have to say something that i always use this method i always like to save these three folders check my mesh if i don't like one step i redo it until i get the right mesh and then I get the final mesh. I never get right ahead my final mesh. Okay. I always work using this iterative method. So what we can do for, from this is that let's say that I want to redo only the act layers. False. False act layers true. Erase step three, which is the boundary layer and restart. That's all. Be careful, control did, you need to put latest time, okay? So don't forget that. And at this point, I can go and change my boundary layer. So let me put 15 there. I do a snappy X mesh and it will start from a step two using my new options. See that now it's working harder. See that it didn't work, it gave me 20, 25% of coverage, but you see that this is how you proceed. I know that visual inspecting, this is not good. Let me erase it again. Let me go 10 and redo. So this is how I proceed. And see that this one was much better, much, much faster. 90, 98 there. And let's visualize this solution. Open form. Uh, sorry, uh, powerful. So basically, if you're not happy with the snapping, you can do the same. Erase, restart, and keep going. Okay. It's a quite neat feature. Honestly, uh, I really like that feature. Uh, and then let me go here. Let me put this here in zero. Bam, 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 bam. So, castellated. I oh, know, snap it, and there you go. See that you have the 10 layers. And by the way, you can add layers on this one. So if you want to add more layers here, it will do the same, okay? So it will take, and this is important, okay? This is, it will add 10 more layers, but always will use the reference, the cell side next at the beginning. So always the reference size will be this. Okay, it's not going to be the new one that you have here. Okay, I know that. Okay, well, probably they change it, but I have done a lot of debugging there. So this is how how it works. Okay, uh, so for instance, let me go and put here two layers. Let me put this one false, and now let me add here instead. Uh, absolute distance because now this is meters not percentage and always be careful minimum distance go below there reduce that a snappy x mesh and let's see what happens so 100 percent coverage and let me go let me load the state that everything's done automatically here And there you go. So now as I'm fixing that length there, it's not relative. This one, uh, this one, you have it there uniform. Okay. 
And this is where things are going to get very, very tricky. Many people will say, ah, oh, but I have many problems doing this. And as I say, that will be the subject of the video and of the, of the NACA video airfoil 2 d that I'm going to show you many tricks. So let's redo the again. So let me use these new options. Let's do this boundary layer. And there you go. So now you have this trick. So now you can iterate more, more, probably faster iterations than redoing everything from scratch. It's not that the case is super slow, but I guess. And open load state. Go here, open. Uh, let's see what we have in this case. And there you go. Cool. Everything there. So it's not the result I wanted. It's not the perfect result. Okay, so see that here I added all the layers. See that these quality problems there in the chart angles that that is the subject of another video. Bam bam bam. Okay. But it worked relatively well. So this is it no? So another trick and play with different combinations and so on. So things can get, as you can see, can get super complex. So now just to end this one, I'm talking about, okay, what happens here? One, two, three, you have the restarting. So now if at one point you are happy with this final mesh, what you need to do, remember the mesh is always located here in PolyMesh. Okay. So what you need to do is erase this and copy this. Is that one? And then I go check mesh. There you go. You have your final mesh. Now I, I did use in you know, the file explorer. You can use, use the command line and so on. Okay. So let me go just to show you that that is the mesh that we have. Okay. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Lord state. There you go. Okay. So remember here, then, oops, you have boundary and here, then you have the name of the patch. So it's up to you. So you want to change it now, inlet, outlet, patch is okay. So let's say this is top. Let's say that this is bottom. Let's say that now I want symmetry. Okay. Symmetry. Symmetry, symmetry. Okay, so that's all. You know that now you have the folder zero and you need to create the boundary condition for those patches. Okay, so the C3, we're going to do the, the, the case definition. We're going to revisit that. But that's it. Okay, so hopefully, okay, you have a much better grip of what is happening. By the way, let me do final just to end this. Okay, run, let me run this one again. So remember that when running this one, okay, so now I start in front of scratch. So we will do all the ta -ta 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 -ta. So I have one, two, three. Okay, so you know what you happen. You're happy here, move it there and so on. However, the other way to do it, and if you are 100% sure that you are going to have something good at the first shop, is this one, a snappy X mesh, overwrite. So overwrite means that do not save do not save the intermediate steps put the information right ahead in constant okay there you go right ahead in constant what i have in zero by the way is just the the boundary layer information but all my mesh i put it right ahead in constant okay you have everything there okay so it's up to you how you proceed. As I mentioned, even as you can see, I have some experience. I know well what I'm doing. This technique, saving intermediate steps, is it is very powerful. Okay, I use it a lot. I always do my meshes like this. Usually meshing it is an iterative uh, process. So I recommend you also to to stay and, and use this technique 
okay uh also it works in parallel exactly the same again there will be another video that we're going to address that in parallel okay but pretty much the method the methodology it is the same so thank you for your attention and see you next video bye